Hey, Tyler, what did you think of your team performance tonight as compared to the game on Winnipeg in, or in Winnipeg on Tuesday, rather? Uh, I thought it was a good response. Uh, obviously, don't like the result, but we had a lot of chances tonight. I thought, you know, we played a much better game than just one goal out there. Marky was really good, obviously, but uh, um, I thought the guys played a pretty good game overall tonight. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Patrick Johnston. Tyler, just your thoughts on sort of how the special, how the special team, team there, obviously, is the early goal goal team's kind of set up as well. Sorry, you were cutting out there. Uh, just wondering about your thoughts on sort of special teams in general. Um, I mean, Marky makes an unbelievable save on Bo on our PP there in the third, and then, you know, they get a lucky one um, going off Millsy's stick. Uh, it's just just the way they bounce sometimes. Uh, you know, I liked, I liked our special teams tonight. Um, just unlucky there in the third. Thanks. Yep. Next up, we'll go to Thomas Grants. Tyler, the fact that your club continues to bring an obvious work rate in watching these games, does that give you some hope that next season you can perhaps bounce back as a group more quickly? For sure. I, you know, I, I'm encouraged by our group. Obviously, you know, we're going – we're going through a tough stretch right now. Uh, you know, it's, we don't want to make any excuses, uh, but, you know, we're battling hard. I love the way we're still battling, even though we're out of it. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys on the lineup right now that provide, uh, you know, quite a bit of, uh, you know, stability for us, um, you know, within our system. Uh, but, you know, guys are battling hard, like you said. Um, you know, we're still taking a lot of pride in these last few games. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue that going into Edmonton. And Tyler, you've been around, uh, you know, uh, you've had a lengthy career. You've, you've seen almost everything, but no one's seen regular season games played after the playoffs begin, which you guys will begin to play this weekend. How big a challenge is that going to be mentally? Just does it change anything knowing that the Stanley Cup playoffs are going on elsewhere and you still have the string to play out? Uh, it'll be strange for sure. But the mind, the you know, the feeling I will be, excuse me, very similar to what these last few games have been. So, you know, we we still want to take pride in in, in the games uh, to finish off here. Um, you know, get a good feeling and and you know, good mindset coming into next season. Um, but uh, you know, whether there's playoff games or not, I don't think it'll change much. All right, last hand raised at the moment is Daniel Wagner. Tyler, just wondering about a sequence midway through the first period where uh, Demko got caught out and it looked like you pulled a puck off the goal line and it looked like they still had an open net. I'm just wondering, how did the puck not go in the net there? That was, that was a close one. <laughs> um, uh, I think it was, I think it was Kachuk made a nice move around Demmer. Uh, I was able to get a stick on that one when he tried to tuck it. And then uh, I think I got my stick on the next one and then I'm pretty sure it was me who, who shot it off the post. So uh, <laughs> a lot going on in that sequence, uh, fortunately stayed out. And uh, you had some rather unusual power play units uh, in the third period. Uh, just wondering what the, the thinking was uh, behind those units and, and what did you think of the, the switch up there? Um, it's probably more of a question for Greener, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he was trying to mix it up a little bit, try and get guys uh, try and get our PP going a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I, I like the way, uh, you know, our first unit has been moving it around. It just, you know, it hasn't been going in for them, um, you know, the last stretch or uh, stretch of games. But, uh, you know, changing it up tonight, I, you know, I thought we had some really good looks, easily could have tied it up on a couple chances there um, midway through the third. And, uh, you know, whatever we see next game, uh, whatever the, the units are, just a matter of guys going out there and, and you know, playing proactively. Got one last question here from Ian McIntyre. Hey, Tyler. Um, you guys have all played as, as kids in these giant minor hockey tournaments somewhere where there's a winner's side. And then if you lose one, you go on to the loser's side and you play games at strange times in the morning sometimes. Do you think 
this so what you're going to be encountering from now to the end of the season, especially on Saturday once the playoffs start? Do you think it's going to feel a little bit like that? Um, I never really thought of it like that, uh, but um, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it's tough. You know, obviously both of us are out of it. Uh, Edmonton still in it, but uh, you know, our last three games with Calgary will we'll be out of it. Um, but I think we'll see a lot of it uh, just like it was tonight. Um, both teams, you know, played still played hard. Um, yeah, it'll certainly be a strange feeling, but uh, you know, you can tell both teams are taking pride in the last few games here. Thanks. Sorry about the weirdness of my question.